Citigroup's recently announced overhaul is taking shape. The broad aim, trim down the bureaucracy for a more nimble, client-focused institution. While the strategy is in place, investors are yet to reap the reward, with city shares trading near their lowest in three and a half years. The board was in Singapore last week, meeting in the city-state for the first time since 2011. CNA's Don Tan caught up with Chief Executive Jane Fraser to discuss the path ahead for City in this exclusive interview. Jane, you've taken tough steps, hard, tough decisions at City in order to turn things around, in order to bring the bank to a different level, to simplify the organisation, that's what you've said. It's not such a simple fix, though, when you're trying to make big changes. Talk to me about what's at the heart of the changes at City and what needs to happen, as you've said, once and for all. So we're on a very deliberate path um, to transform the bank, to unlock the value of the bank. And that does take some tough decisions. It, it requires quite bold actions. And we've accomplished a, a huge amount. Where we are now is putting the structure to match the strategy that we have in place and make some rapid advances on that front. And, and when I look at the bank, we set a vision for City um, a couple of years ago, which is to be the preeminent banking partner for clients, be they institutions or individuals who have cross-border needs, need to tap into global markets. And our bank has got an extraordinary history in all around the world, particularly here in Asia, 121 years and six different markets here. But it was time to really rethink about the strategy, relook at what's the structure that fits with the bank that we are today and not the bank that we were. And it's partly because banking is changing so rapidly yeah. now, isn't it? You know, you've striven for a long time as well to break the silo mentality, mm -hmm. the sort of minding my patch behavior mm -hmm. that is so wrapped up in, in banking as well as in other sectors as well. Sometimes a silo can be a good thing. It's not often you might want to eradicate it. Is that something that you've also wanted to do? How does this new model of how City is going to go forward, how does it work with that? The model that we're putting in place is frankly to free up time for our people to focus on clients and to focus on execution as opposed to some of the more bureaucratic uh, elements that, that can, can creep into any organization. So it's that sort of shake the place up, flatten down the management layers and the structure that we have, um, make decision making easier and faster, and that way we can get people to focus on their clients. Jane, you have thousands of multinational companies mm. who choose to bank with mm. you, and I, and I don't say that lightly. They choose to do this. Mm. They could choose to go anywhere, and especially in this changing environment and with so much competition. Your clients know you're going through this transformation. What have you heard from them? Our clients want City to succeed. We're an incredibly important bank for them. We move $4 trillion, which is the GDP of Germany, every single day for 5,000 multinationals. Much of that flow and activity is here in Asia. And we're seeing the global lanes changing globally tremendously, be it food, energy, financial flows, supply chains are changing. Our bank operates on the ground in 96 countries. We operate in 160 in total around the world. So our presence is quite unique. And so the, from the client's perspective, they're excited to see us shaking things up a little. They want to see City on the front foot. We have seen remarkable resilience in the global economy. Mm -hmm post-pandemic. We might avoid a recession, we don't know, that we might be in for a soft landing, but there are still plenty of worrying headwinds. We've got geopolitical tensions, we've got a slowing Chinese economy, and, and we've right now got two very hot wars that are ongoing. Mm. Sitting at the top of a company with an international reach like this, Jane, where do you see growth headed globally as we head into all of this uncertainty? If it's certainly softening around the world. It's quite a desynchronized picture, so it's different in different parts of the world. And as you say, more resiliency than any of us expect 
adapted. In the US, um, incredibly resilient. We do think there's a possibility of a recession next year, but it's a manageable one. Both the consumers and the corporates have been in pretty good health as they head into it. Um, Europe is a tougher picture. It's more negative there. They've got more longer term structural challenges they're facing in the labor market and energy prices. Um, and so I think there they'll face some more competitiveness challenges. And Asia is just the bright spot of the world. There are so many different geographies where the changing dynamics are playing into the longer term flavor and benefit here, be it what we see in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Vietnam, as companies are looking at diversifying more of their supply chains and operations beyond China. China is still going to be the next China. It's facing challenges at the moment, but um, the advances that they've made technologically are quite extraordinary extraordinary in industry after industry. Here in Singapore, a lot of the different new lanes are coming through here. And the digital innovation wealth is an incredible unstoppable trend and our entrepreneurial clients in this part of the world blow my mind every time I see them. They're so innovative, they're so creative and uh, that's going to be enormous wealth creation but also economic growth creation in the medium to long term. So I think you can tell I'm an optimist particularly in this part of the world and we're a very assertively positioned in the bank here that's why we brought our Citigroup board meeting was here in Singapore this week um, because we, we want to make sure that we're positioned to really help uh, accelerate for our clients where they're headed and the opportunities and manage the risks I don't want to downplay them but uh, we'll help them manage them so that they can take full advantage of the opportunities ahead